Many pieces of equipment make up a rotary drilling rig. Part of it's on the surface. And part of it's underground, or subsurface. All the equipment has one main purpose, to put a bit at the bottom of the hole, where it can drill or make hole. To put the bit on the bottom, rig crew members screw it into a special pipe. The pipe is called the drill string. Crew members lower the drill string and attached bit into the hole. For the bit to drill, surface rig equipment has to rotate it, unless it's rotated by a mud motor. Equipment also has to put weight on it to force the bit's teeth or cutters into the formation. As the bit rotates, a circulating fluid has to take the drill cuttings away from the bit. Otherwise, the hole would clog up. The fluid which circulates is called drilling mud. To impart rotary motion to the drill string so that the bit can turn, either a top drive or a Kelly and rotary table system is used. Power is transferred from the surface down hole via the drill string. Some rigs rotate the drill string with a top drive unit. Top drives are expensive, but very efficient. Crew members can add drill pipe joints to the drill string very quickly and safely, and they can drill the well more efficiently with less chance of sticking the drill string in the hole as compared with the Kelly and rotary table. A powerful motor turns a drive shaft which is connected to the top drive. Crew members make up or attach the drill string to the drive shaft. The drive shaft turns the drill string and bit. Notice that the drill string goes through an opening in the rotary table. The table does not, however, rotate. A link system suspends the top drive unit from the rig's traveling block. Drilling mud enters the unit through the gooseneck to the rotary hose, the flexible line that conducts drilling mud from the pump. A motor and gearbox power the main drive shaft. The crew makes up the drill string to the drive shaft. The built-in inside blowout preventer, IBOP or safety valve, keeps fluids from backflowing up the drill string when the driller closes it. The crew uses the torque wrench assembly to make up and break out, connect and disconnect, the drill string. The elevator links suspend the elevator. The rig crew latches the elevator around the drill string to allow the top drive unit to lift it up or down. A Kelly, a Kelly drive bushing, a master bushing, and a rotary table rotate the drill string and bit on some rigs.
The Kelly is a heavy tubular device. It usually has either four or six sides. That is, it either has a square or hexagonal cross-section. Square Kellys are less expensive than hexagonal ones, but the hex Kellys are stronger, so rigs drilling deep holes often use them. Whether four or six-sided, crew members attach or make up the Kelly to the top joint of pipe in the drill string. The Kelly, four-sided or square in this example, moves through a square opening in the Kelly drive bushing. The Kelly drive bushing mates with the master bushing, which the rotary table turns. This rotates the entire drill string and attached bit. The Kelly moves down as the hole deepens.